guys, good morning. So, yeah, I was just in scripture and I wanted to share. So, Hebrews 11.4, uh, we'll start at 11.5. By faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony, that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So I looked up the definition of faith because we, we constantly talk about it, but let's kind of like really digest what that word means. It means complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Um, uh, also a strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion, and of course, Google adds, based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. I believe it's proof, but whatever. So, um, belief means an acceptance that a statement is true, or that something exists. So now, you know, we've, we've laid this beautiful foundation of, of believing that Jesus, you know, the gospel, right? So now the Lord is, is talking about, um, he wants us to believe that he exists, believe on the foundation of Jesus. But then he says, and also believe that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So those of us that um, decide to continue on, and, and that's what the Holy Spirit does in us, it draws us into uh, more relationship and more communion with the Father. Um, those of us that, that go deeper, um, the Lord blesses that. And so um, I wanted to remind you all of, of what it means whenever we are reborn into this new family. So uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22 but you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, who are registered in heaven, to God the judge of all, to God the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect, to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. Guys, like when we received, when we were sealed with the Holy Spirit, we gained access into the throne room. Jesus is up there seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding on our behalf through the, so by the Holy Spirit, we are connected. And there Jesus is at the right hand of the Father, speaking on your behalf to him. He's saying, that is my beloved. I love them and they love me. That is communion. That is faith. And I want you to believe on that. I want you guys to seriously meditate on, on, on the scriptures and listen to the Father's voice telling you who you are now and believe on, on what he says. Um, Hebrews uh, 12, 28, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably, acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. We have inherited something incredible, and we need to start believing on that. I hope you guys are blessed. I love you all so much. And yeah, please just do me a favor. Meditate on God's word. Hear the Father's voice speaking through it. It is alive and powerful. And allow His Holy Spirit to just transform your mind so that you believe on Jesus. You believe on this gospel even more. You all be, uh, be blessed. Love you all.